Today I just want to talk about um, your tolerances for the bed uh, for quad gantry level. Uh, my tolerance is usually below 0 0.01. Now it was a lot higher when my Z belts were not as tight. I actually tightened them uh, pretty good. And after that I get very very good tolerances. Uh, very absolutely perfect layer. For those of you who uh, have not seen my other videos, I don't use the ZN stop anymore. Um, I just use the probe. I built uh, this one using a FormBot kit, which comes with the Omron uh, probe. Um, I don't know, I've seen people saying it melts and whatnot. Um, it hasn't done any of that. It's working perfect. Uh, perfect layer lines every time. Uh, in the last maybe like three weeks I haven't adjusted the Z offset that's how consistent it is but I'm only printing ABS at the moment if I do change filament uh, if I do change the bed temperature I do have to adjust it maybe a tiny bit like 0.05 between filaments um, so let me go ahead and show you the tolerance this is very important ah knocking over stuff boron parts yeah boron parts so here it is here it is uh, my last gantry level you'll see uh, where, where is it right there uh, range is 0 0.006 Tolern tolerance is 0 0.007 I'm usually between 0 0.003 and 0 0.008 no more um, before I tighten the belts Where'd it go? It was at uh, almost like sometimes it went to like point zero one or zero two zero three. Yeah, I I was up at like point zero three. After I tightened the belts, uh, it went down to below point zero one, and it's been staying that way. And this is at uh, ABS temperatures, heater bed at one fifteen. Um, I'm printing out two fifty. Now, how do you adjust the belts? Um, you want to loosen this guy, the Z idlers, you can uh, unscrew that and make it completely loose. Make it loose so it, um, you make it all the way loose before the screw comes off, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and, uh, you're going to have to take the panel out and unscrew these two screws and pull these pretty tight, not, and not super tight, but as tight as possible and then screw them back in. And then you're gonna use this is a uh, Z belt tensioner, so you're gonna go ahead and screw screw in very very tight. Because these Z belts are not like X Y belts. With X Y belts, I use the Prusa tool. Um, you can use the GT GT belt tool for the X Y. Now for the Z axis, because we're dealing with gravity and stuff, you're gonna want to actually tighten this over the max that's what i found out because I, before i had it using this i was like okay this is tight enough but the fact is the z-axis uh, needs to be tighter in order to get better tolerances so do that for all the all the belts and you don't have to use a meter or anything like that um just get it get it pretty tight where i'll actually go ahead and show you real quick how tight my belts are um, I'm actually doing another PA test. I forgot to do it for ABS and I'm not getting perfect prints right now. So I need those perfect prints. Um, so my belts are pretty tight. If you go in the middle here, it's, it's quite a bit of force to get it together. It's very, very tight. It's very, very tight, but it's not like to the tight point of tight of where I can't bend it. So definitely, um, it's got to be tighter than the XY and after that my tolerance is just improved greatly um, also your uh, bed mesh improves also but yeah just printing out a, a quick PA because I forgot to do it on the ABS and that will fix everything so try that if your tolerance are higher than 0 0.01 on squat gantry level um, you will probably need to tighten those belts because think about it, it's moving up and down. You have forces of gravity. It's not going left and right. So it's got to be tighter. Just using common sense. 
Um, but yeah, do let me know how tight you guys have your belts. But I have it a lot tighter uh, than, you know, these belt thingies or the frequency thingies. And they seem to work a lot better. Anyway, got kind of long. Uh, PA looking really good. And look at that perfect, perfect first layers. Yeah.